Welcome to School of Civil Engineering. In our previous video, I have shown you that how we will define and assign materials property on our building or on our frame. And in this video, I will show you that how we will assign our slab. I mean how we will define our slab and also how we will assign, uh, assign and define our mat, uh, load pattern. So let's start. First of all, I'll open Start Pro. Here is our Start Pro, and uh, from here, I'll go here new project space foot kilo pound and lecture 4 next add beam finish so from here I will consider I'll consider a so from here I'll not use I'll cl close that I'll go geometry I'll close that and from here I'll use zero node here is the zero node and I'll use cursor node cursor select that after that copy right click and copy and right click and paste node in x direction it's 10 feet okay so I'll again copy that and control C again control V then in Z direction again 10 feet take it 8 feet and press ok so here now I will join the note here again draw the beam again right click I'm sorry left click and left click then click here we have to draw our beam and uh, I have discussed about that in our previous video so if you have any confusion about that you can watch my previous video the link are given in description so I'll go here and uh, by using node cursor I'll copy that then control C and again control V and in opposite Y direction suppose we'll consider our 5 feet foundation depth suppose ok Y and here we'll go in 3D mode so from here we'll join that here left click left click and left click left click left click and left click so here we have joined that now we'll again we'll go here and again we'll copy that and by using that transitional repeat in y direction suppose we'll use 5 story so here our distance will be 10 and we can use link step why will use that I have discussed in previous video because that will connect our wall nodes in y direction so press ok so here we are seeing that all have connected in y direction if we go in 3d mode here so after that I'll go here and flip node and copy all node till that is story so here then I'll go here I can select her manually I mean I can draw beam here manually but I'll go here sorry geometry add beam here uh, connect beam along X direction okay it's connect beam along X direction you are seeing that again we'll go here geometry connect beam along Z direction here it's a connected beam along Z direction 
So now L. Show you here. I will assign or sorry support base. Yeah, or create support fixed in my previous video I have shown you that so get fixed assign close that and go in 3d mode so is it in our previous video I have shown you that that's why I'm going first then here property page or you can also use that from uh, geometry sorry So from here, from here of uh, support specification, from here you can also do that loading. You can also do that member specification. From member specification also you can do from command here member specification like that. So I'll use here property page. After that. Define rectangle. Suppose here you consider one feet, one point five feet, and here one feet. At I will assign that both in full structure. So I'll click here assign to view. Uh, in this video, I'm just showing you that how will assign a load uh, th that work I have done in my previous video. That's up. That's why I'm just doing it randomly. So here, if you see here, we have to draw that. Now, I will use Z. So from here generate surface meshing to draw slab uh, here to draw slab we have to use that option first of all generate surface meshing click on it then click here again click here again click here again click here and again click here so here we have done that then here quadrilateral meshing select that then press ok and from here according to distance we have to divide that suppose it's 10 we'll use here uh, 10 then use here 2 8 I mean uh, you have to divide that slab within some division so if we use here 2 it will divide according to 10 uh, 10 feet length is it will divide in 5 parts so for bc it will if we use here 2 it will divide in 4 parts again here 2 again here 2 so apply ok you can see that it's have divided divided in 4 parts now if we go here create cursor if we select it is being divided here you can see that it is being divided in different section so after that again we will go in 3d mode and only we have seen that there itself divided and by using red cursor we'll copy all of them and we'll control C or we'll use transitional repeat control C 
and transition will repeat 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 for 5 and distance of 10 in y direction then press ok here all our slab we have found if we go in 3d mode sorry go here if we go in 3d mode we can see that we have done for slab we have defined our slab here so in this way you can draw your slab slab and uh, when we'll draw for different kinds of or building then I'll show you that how we'll do for the exact procedure and how we'll do for it in better procedure and uh, it's okay till today and in our next video I'll show you that how we'll assign load on that building so that's why I'll say very yes yes and Thank you, thank you very much. Stay well, stay connected till next video.